No 1417 Flight RAF 1417 FLT was an independent flight of the British Royal Air Force which existed between 1941 and 1993 at various times in a variety of roles. This flight had probably the most interesting incarnations of all the independent aircraft flights of the Royal Air Force, introducing new technologies and operating complex fast jet aircraft in challenging and austere conditions, from the Arabian Peninsula to Central America. Topic: No 1417 General Reconnaissance Flight. No 1417 General Reconnaissance Flight 1417 GR FLT was first formed at RAF St. Athan from number 417 General Reconnaissance Flight on the 1st of March 1941 as a General Reconnaissance Unit flying Avro Anson I aircraft on maritime patrols. The flight had a very short life, being disbanded on 18 March 1941. No-1417 flight No 1417 Lee Light Trials Flight 1417 LLT FLT was a Royal Air Force flight established to carry out trials and develop tactics for the use of ASV radar. Lee Light equipped Vickers Wellington GRMK 8 maritime reconnaissance bombers. Formed on 8 January 1942 at RAF Shivana 1417 LLT FLT was reformed as No. 172 Squadron from 4 April 1942 onwards. No 1417 Communication Flight No 1417 Communication Flight 1417 Comms FLT was reincarnated on the 1st of November 1953 as a communications unit in the Middle East at RAF Maharak, Bahrain with Avro Anson 19 and Percival Pembroke C.1 aircraft. Once again, 1417 FLT formed the basis of a full squadron when number 152 squadron was formed at Bahrain on the 1st of October 1958 under the command of Flight Lieutenant F Rimmer, flying Percival Pembroke CMK.1 transport aircraft. Topic Arabian Peninsular Reconnaissance Flight From 1956 Gloucester Meteor FRMK.9 aircraft from No. 208 Squadron were deployed to Aden for operations against rebel tribesmen and Yemeni insurgents. This squadron was withdrawn at the time of the Suez Crisis, but some aircraft returned from 1958 to 1960 operated by the Arabian Peninsular Reconnaissance Flight. The reconnaissance task at Aden was taken over by No. 8 Squadron from 1960, flying Hawker Hunter FGAMK.9 and FRMK.10 aircraft. Lack-luster results from reconnaissance missions and difficulties maintaining the aircraft prompted the formation of a dedicated reconnaissance flight on 1 March 1963 as No. 1417 Fighter Reconnaissance Flight 1417 FR FLT, flying the five FR MK.10 Hunters from No. 8 Squadron and ATMK.72 Seat Hunter, the five aircraft were 
were given tactical codes to represent the initials of the five pilots, RP for Roger Pyra, JM for Johnny Morris, Place for Peter Lewis, JD for Jim Diamond and GT for Jeff Timms. Timms was to carry on flying fast jets well into his 60s, becoming probably the oldest active fast jet pilot in the RAF, until retiring to the Harrier simulator at RAF Wittering in the early 1990s. March 1965 was a busy month with the pilots, ground crew and aircraft of No. 8 Squadron, plus two 1417 FLTFR, 10s departing Cormaxer for a two-week detachment to RAF Masira, an island in the Gulf of Oman, to undergo strike and photo reconnaissance training in an area not familiar to many pilots. The detachment left on 8 March 1965 and returned on 19 March 1965. The following table of flying hours, for Cormaxer aircraft in March 1965, illustrates that the Hunter FRMK, tens of 1417 FLT were well utilized, with each aircraft averaging well over 20 hours flying for that month. A typical month saw 1417 FR FLT fly 63 reconnaissance missions in June 1964, which was quite an achievement considering there were only five pilots and five aircraft, with some on standby duty at upcountry airfields and other normal flying and training being carried out simultaneously. 1417 FLT continued providing pre- and post-strike reconnaissance up to the draw-down of British forces in Aden. Missions were carried out on a daily basis until it was disbanded and reabsorbed into No. 8 Squadron on 8 September 1967, shortly after evacuating to RAF Maharak at Bahrain. Topic: British Forces Belize. In 1975, with Guatemala in the grip of a bloody civil war, there was a real fear that Guatemalan forces might invade Belize and, at the very least, widen their Caribbean coastline. To bolster the resident British Army garrison, a detachment of six Hawker Siddeley Harrier GR.1 as from No. 1 Squadron was sent to Belize International Airport at Ladeville in November 1975. There they set about waving the flag and discouraging Guatemalan aggression. After several months the threat was perceived to have subsided and the Harriers returned to the UK in April 1976, only to return on a more permanent basis in June 1977, as part of a complete package with the Queen's Regiment of the British Army. A Vickers VC-10 C-1 and six Harriers from No. 1 Squadron flew direct with support from ten Handley Page Victor tankers. Harday Belize Thus was born Harday Belize. The six aircraft were operated from semi permanent hides, named using the NATO phonetic alphabet. Alpha and Bravo hides were set up in the grounds of the Belican Brewery outside the gates to the garrison, Charlie and Delta hides were set up on the other side of the garrison access road. Echo Hyde either never existed or formed the basis of the tie-down engine running pan at the eastern end of the runway. Foxy contracted from Foxtrot and Golf Hides were set up around the airport fire station which remained active, even using some of the fire station buildings. Hotel, India and Juliet Hides were arranged around the access taxiway to Williamson Hangar and the edge of the airport apron. Topic: No 1417 tactical ground attack flight. 
After operating as a rotating rulement for two years, Harday was put on an even more permanent footing with the formation of No. 1417 Tactical Ground Attack Flight 1417 TGA FLT from the 18th of April 1980 until closure on the 6th of July 1993. Much flying was done, with plenty of flag waving and saber rattling, the aircrew enjoying the post due to the lack of restrictions, and challenging missions. Eventually operations were confined to Charlie, Delta and Foxy, Golf hides which went through a slow metamorphosis to permanent semi-hardened hides with concrete surfaces and taxiways and block-built buildings including accommodation, kitchen and bars. Several aircraft were lost due to various reasons, but one of the most spectacular incidents occurred when some months prior to the formation of 1417 Flight XZ-132 encountered a large vulture which tore straight through the bird strike armor in the intake, making a large hole in the starboard forward fuselage fuel tank. The contents of the fuel system promptly gushed out of this hole, causing a large cloud of fuel vapor as the aircraft approached to land. After stopping on the runway, the pilot could see the damage caused by the vulture and said he would have ejected if he had known the extent of the damage. XZ-132 was sent back to the UK, repaired, and sent off to war in the Falkland Islands, albeit with a leaking front tank. Other losses included Harriers of 1417 TGA FLT were also instrumental in securing diplomatic assurances for the future of Belize. After taking part in air shows at La Aurora International Airport, Guatemala City, for the 69th and 70th anniversaries of the Guatemalan Air Force, in 1990 and 1991, supported by a Westland Puma HC.1 from No. 1563 flight. Topic. See also List of Royal Air Force Aircraft Squadrons List of RAF Regiment Squadrons List of Fleet Air Arm Aircraft Squadrons List of Army Air Corps Aircraft Squadrons List of Royal Air Force Aircraft Independent Flights List of RAF Squadron Codes <laughs>